on Mutual Cup at the MCG. Set 170, the home side won by four wickets. In glorious conditions at the MCG, South Australia won the toss and elected to bat, but they got off to a slow and somewhat sloppy start. Openers Lehman and Nobes eventually began the flow of runs. Nobes well, receiving a nasty one, one to the helmet along the way. Oh, and he's gone for that one. It hit him in the head. But Troy Corbett spoiled any plans of a solid well, partnership, yes, capturing the vital wicket the of Lehman. The he then one. proved the destroyer, claiming another three. South Australia in trouble and at four for 74. Four. Ben Johnson has gone. Weber and Nielsen then settled bringing up the 100, but Weber was running out of partners. Backer removing Nielsen and Scuderi in his first over. He then claimed Marsh and George, Weber departing immediately after, just shy of his half century. Jones undistracted by some interesting sky art. South Australia all out for 169. Victoria began its run chase, striking trouble early. Wigney making the vital breakthrough, sending Hodge on his way for four. And Hodge is out for four. Skipper Jones then steadied the Vic's attack and began to find the boundary. Yeah, but once again, Jones has picked that gap. Larkin received a life. In the air, oh, on just one hand. And he made them pay, helping Jones to see Victoria pass 50. But they received a big blow shortly after the skipper removed for 35. Got him. Larkin combined with Elliott, but after a solid innings, He's he was gone, gone for 45. So but the Vicks look low. comfortable at 3 for 116. And despite the loss of three wickets in the chase and for victory, they didn't take long to get the required runs, winning their and first one-day competition since 1979. I've been nervous all week for this one. It's, uh, it's been a long time, you know. I feel, well, these young kids have got it easy to win their first game, but uh, or first final, but uh, it's been a long time. I've, I've lost two, so I'm, I'm just happy to be clear. So. For Jones, it was his first finals victory with Victoria, and Premier Jeff Kenner didn't waste any time congratulating him. Well, thanks to the, uh, the Premier.